killable now. Watch it. Hey, good job, bird. Get that bird, Leah. Get that bird. Get that bird, Leah. Get that bird, Leah. Get that bird. Get that bird. Good girl, Leah. Good girl. Bring that bird here. <laughs> Good girl, Leah. Good girl. That's my baby. I'm not a professional trainer. I've had a lot of experience with labs, Chesapeake's, Yellows, Chocolates. Uh, I've owned a bunch of them, and I've always had one beside me, and they're great. I loved them. I mean, I really did. With those breeds, as I got older in life, and it seemed like the breeders were breeding them, which they accomplished, for retrieving. And I lost the feeling of being raised with the old time labs where they were not only phenomenal hunters and retrievers, but they were also great companions. And I wanted that feeling back as I had as a youth and a young man and boy. And so I started pursuing another breed of dog. What I sought contacting American honey doodles was I was just not looking for a honey dog. And I'll stress that, you know, I, I had that with other dogs. So I wasn't just looking for a hunting dog, but I was looking for a excellent hunting dog. Now to turn the page on the backside of that page, I wanted a, a excellent companion. And that's very important because I wanted both of those and that's a high expectation. So generally to have one or the other or both, you're gonna to have to give up something. I didn't have to give up anything. I achieved that through American hunting doodles and I have that. I have a phenomenal hunting dog and I have a phenomenal member of our family that you know we truly love and respect and she loves us. It's been a blessing to us. Get that bird. She's with us every moment of our lives. It's hard to comprehend, but uh, she's that obedient and manageable. You're just bonded with her 24-7. Rhea's with me all the time. She's, uh, and now that she's coming around, one of those, you know, impromptu hunts where I'm like, gosh, I don't know if I want to go, I do go. and. Then, I'll just take the truck, take her, a few decoys, and I'll get on the bank. And um, it's really a blessing to have her because uh, she'll go out and get those birds where I didn't have that before. Once you've owned one of these dogs, and once you've experienced the inner reaction of this phenomenal American retriever, the emotion they will, in love, they will bring to your family, and you experience that, and their gratefulness to be with you, and you'll correspond that gratefulness, appreciation to them, you will never want to uh, be without that kind of companionship because it'll supercharge your experiences above and beyond any animal that I've ever owned, where I even hate to use the syllable animal. They're right beside you and they're into your world, and they're into your world in a way that they want to compliment you and share your world. And it's a phenomenal thing. They're also talented to the point of extremely easy to manage and train. Back! You 
you are not going to find better people to deal with. And they're going to make sure you're happy when you invest in their company. And they stand behind that. But the point is, to have the quality product that they produce, the quality breeds, along with their integrity is pretty unmatched. And I've been uh, blessed that I've made that connection through Rhea, has added so much into my personal life, having that companion, and into my family life, and then into the relationship with my kids, and then a companion out in the field for all the things that I do, that you're buying a product that is basically, it will supersede your investment, where you say, man, that's pretty expensive. When you prorate that out, it's pennies on the dollar for what you're getting.